Man, what's happening, my YouTube family? Of course, it is your boy, B. New. I'm coming at you on this Wednesday. And first and foremost, as always, want to send out positive vibrations and blessings to anybody who could be listening. Now, with all that being said, we all know that the Los Angeles Lakers will be taking on the Sacramento Kings tonight. Uh, and we know this is a very key matchup for the Lakers for various reasons. But for reason number one is, of course, if you look up at the Western Conference final, uh, Western Conference standings right now, you will see that lo and behold, the Kings are 34 and 26, sitting at the seventh seed, and the Lakers two seeds below them at the ninth seed, 34 and 29. And we know the Mavericks took an L on yesterday. They are now 34 and 28. So the Lakers are just one game behind that eighth position, which would still be a play-in position, but not as bad as the ninth or tenth play-in position, needing you would only need to win one game. But, of course, I think the Lakers can make that jump to the sixth seed. There's 19 games left for the Los Angeles Lakers, and they are all capable of winning. They're going to be a tough stretch, as we all know, coming up against, like, the Kings, for instance, the Bucks. after that, and then the Kings again, of course, Golden State. Uh, that's what, that's what the Lakers need. They play up and down to the competition too much, as we see throughout the season. And now they need this test because if you can't beat these tougher uh, opponents in the regular seasons, then you have no chance or even hope for the playoffs. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment, too. But getting back to this matchup against the Sacramento Kings, again, Sacramento 34 and 26, this matchup is so important because if the Lakers win or when the Lakers win. I'm predicting the Lakers victory and I'll talk about that in just a minute, the reasons why. But when the Lakers win, they are now 34 and 29. They could become 35 and 29 and the Kings would fall to 34 and 27 and that would put the Lakers just two games behind them. Actually a game and a half if you think about it because as of right now, if you look at the win loss uh games the kings have won 34 and the lakers have won 34 that doesn't bode well for the lakers because they've already played more games and they've taken more l's in those games so sacramento king would have to and you don't want to sit around waiting for your own destiny so the lakers have an opportunity to play them twice within a week they beat them two times then guess what then you're going to basically move in front of them and you take that spot for the seventh spot. And who knows, Phoenix or the Pelicans may fall out of that spot as well. I doubt if the Clippers fall out of that fourth spot. I don't think they will. I don't think the Nuggets, Thunder, or the Timberwolves will move out of that top four spot. I would doubt if that happened, uh, if any other team would gain. I mean, it is possible. I just don't see any of those teams going on a big enough losing streak in order to fall out of the top four. So it is imperative for the Lakers to play well in these final 19 games so they can jump up in the standings and they could be on the that way they could be uh, at least in the sixth spot and be safe from the play-in tournament. And then they could play the five seed, which who knows. But anyway, there's still a lot of basketball left to be played. So focusing back in on the Sacramento Kings for tonight, we already know in the previous two games earlier in the season, early, I want to say back in October, the Lakers, on October the 29th, actually, the Lakers played the Kings. And of course, that early, uh, that early season game, uh, led to a Lakers loss 132 to 127 and in that game uh it was a good game uh you know and actually all the way down to the stretch went to overtime and that was LeBron James's if we all remember 20th anniversary of his very first game and it was against Sacramento so there he was again not at the old Arco Arena but at uh, Sacramento's arena there playing his 20th game, but it fell a little bit short. I remember that game. Uh, De'Aaron Fox had hurt his ankle. I thought he was left in the fourth quarter, but he came back and even finished the game strong uh, and was able to, uh, I think, push the game into overtime. Uh, and it should have ended in regulation, but it did not. But it ended up going to overtime and the Sacramento Kings prevailed. And that put them one game up on the Lakers as far as 1-0 in the series. And then, of course, we know the Kings kind of took it running away on November the 15th, which was still a world away, uh, 125 to 110. LeBron James had the triple-double. The Lakers kind of bully with the whole first three quarters, went down by like 30, ultimately cut it down to eight. But, of course, could not finish the comeback because they just – you know, weren't playing strong in the first three quarters a lot in the early, early part of the season for whatever reason, especially that stretch after the play-in tournament where they lost so many games. I think lost maybe eight out of 10 games or whatever during that stretch. But 
The Lakers still have an opportunity to beat the Kings tonight and beat them again next week. That would give them the uh, series tied 2-2. Two to two. And if that is the case and it comes down to a tiebreaker, then they would have to move to the next tiebreaker, which would be uh, – Usually, I think is the next thing would be conference record, and then if you look at conference record uh, right now, the Kings are 23 and 16 in the conference, and the Lakers are 23 and 20. So they would hold that tiebreaker over the Lakers as of right now. But if the Lakers beat them twice, boom, that's two more losses. They're giving the Kings in their conference and two more wins for the Lakers. So ultimately, a two-game swing in that regard. So, but anyway, at the end of the day. You know, this game is going to be important for the Lakers. I feel like they're playing good enough basketball. And the only team that is their Achilles heel right now is the Denver Nuggets. De'Aaron Fox does have a good uh, history of finishing strong against the Lakers. I'm pretty sure he has that chip on his shoulders. Uh, seeing how as the Lakers drafted Lonzo Ball over him, imagine Laker fans if the Lakers would indeed have dra drafted De'Aaron Fox instead of uh, Lonzo Ball, how great the Lakers organization might be right now. But at the end of the day, they did not. And that's no knock to Lonzo Ball. I know he's dealt with a lot of injuries over the course of his career. But at the end of the day, De'Aaron Fox is a phenomenal player. I put him up there with the set, with the SGAs of the world. I know SGA is a phenomenal player. De'Aaron Fox, if, you know, both of them in a the small market, they don't get their just due. But these are two phenomenal players. And I think De'Aaron Fox, uh, Malik Monk, I heard her, uh, they are well coached team by Mike Brown. They can hit a lot of threes. They're like a miniature Golden State. They caught the league by surprise a lot last year, and they had a lot higher seeding. I want to say they were two or three seed last year, if I'm not mistaken. And as we all know, fell short to Golden State, I think, in seven games last year. But this year, they're hovering around sixth or seventh, eighth seeding. Uh, they're not catching any teams by surprise. So every team that's coming at them is giving them their all. So look forward to the game tonight. Uh, it'll be a great matchup. Of course, we will come tomorrow for the post game or maybe late tonight, uh, just depending on if we have the time uh, available. So if you haven't done so already, I would greatly appreciate it. If you hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe, and most importantly, hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when the B New Show is coming on and we can talk about the Los Angeles Lakers in their march towards hopefully another championship. So as always... This is your boy B. New. I'm saying right on to the real and much love to these haters. I'm out.